Hi, my name's Eva. Welcome to my page. Follow me. This is my page for random thoughts, crushes, serious inquiries, my hashtag BFFs. One day, I'll be a famous reporter. But for now, I live with my grandparents. Now you make a wish? <laughs> Dirty Jew. Okay. The reason for the idea was is how can you tell a story that happened in the, the first half of the uh, former century, last century, how can you make this story relatable and relevant for children today? It's an important story for us and it's a story that we want people to know. So that was the big question and that's the way we found ourselves eventually uh, going to social media, going to Instagram and finding Instagram as the best channel to tell the story. I think kids are going to be able to really relate to her in a lot of ways. She deals with a lot of modern problems that kids in 2019 deal with. For example, her parents are divorced, she lives with her grandparents, there's a boy that she likes that's not paying attention to her. Um, she wants to be a famous journalist when she gets older. So there's a lot of relatability um, that I think young kids will um, really feel and relate to. Um, and hopefully this continues as her journey becomes more difficult and as she starts to experience some of the more horrific parts of the story. Conquer us. Like that. You have to go home right now. Immediately. Jews can no longer own businesses. No, I'm not ready. It looks almost like a movie and it's really interesting and you want to see and you want to understand and it's acted good in an, in a way that I wanted to I want to see it and and it it makes me interested in that story. Yeah, so in my opinion it's really an interesting an interesting this I think is an interesting approach to create engagement to somehow create an interactive way of engaging with this history and not only learning about it, but to somehow responding to it. By a younger generation. So that, that would be interesting if this can really happen. New media is a chance, but new media is also a danger that somehow um, the history of the Holocaust becomes a banalized story among others. So we have to keep in mind that this is a very special history, especially for the Jewish people and that we have to find ways to honor the victims and to seriously present their fates. And I think it's very important to give them a voice. It's startling to watch it on Instagram just because you, you know stories about the Holocaust and you, you know what happened there, but then to see it on Instagram completely breaks the idea of what the medium has traditionally been in the past. Um, so I would say that I was a little bit taken aback by it. From today, I must document everything that happens to us.